Before we start the ceremony, I have a few short announcements. If you are in possession of a mobile phone, please switch it off or make it silent now and ensure that it remains off or on silent for the duration of the ceremony. In the unlikely event that we need to evacuate the grave, will you please note that there is an exit at the front of the hall on the left hand side and on both sides at the rear of the hall? The assembly point is the White Gates car park, which is the large car park adjacent to the Great Hall. The marshals located around the Great Hall will be on hand to direct and assist you. Should you need any assistance throughout the ceremony, please attract the attention of the graduation marshal who should be able to help. When ascending the stage, please walk to the line and dot the tap. Remember to wait there for a moment while your official photographs are taken. At the end of the ceremony, please make your way to the shuttle bus, which will take you to the White Lights campus where the post ceremony celebrations will take place. And finally, please do remember to clap and celebrate each other's achievements throughout the ceremony. Thank you. Congregation for the awarding of degrees. I am Professor Robert van der Noort, the Vice Chancellor at the University of Reading and the presiding officer for today's proceedings. It's really good to be back in the more magnificent Great Hall. During much of the pandemic, this was Reading's PCR testing centre, and being able to hold your awarding ceremony here, even with some delay, is a symbol that we are, ca that we are getting back to normality. Shortly, we will commence the awarding of degrees. You will be called individually by name to step up to the dais. We will doff caps, and then you will descend and receive a bag from colleagues with, uh, from the right, for me, so, and then you return to your seat. Now, this ceremony is steeped in tradition and history, but above all, it is a celebration of the achievements of our graduates. Please feel free to show your appreciation and enthusiasm to each every one of them. It is now my duty and pleasure to declare this congregation for the awarding of degrees opened. By the authority of the Council and of the Senate of the University of Reading, this congregation has been summoned for the recognition of degrees. Vice Chancellor, graduates will now be presented in acknowledgement of their degrees.
Vice-Chancellor, I present to you these candidates to whom the degree of Doctor of Philosophy has been awarded. I admit each of you to the degree of Doctor of Philosophy of this university. Varun Arunachalam Chandram. Grace Burgess. <laughs> Charlotte Mary Goodwin. <laughs> Matthew Grout. Gabrielle May. <laughs> Samantha Rose Piercy. <laughs> Hannah Louise Plystead. Shannon J. Wake. <laughs> and Rebecca Watson. <laughs> Vice Chancellor, I present you these candidates to whom the degree of Master of Science has been awarded. I admit each of you to the degree of Master of Science of this university. Clinical Aspects of Psychology. Umayma Bharti. <laughs> Hannah Sean Wilkinson. Development and Psychopathology. Brett John Ellis Davis. <laughs> Theory and Practice in Clinical Psychology with Clinical Placement. Elizabeth Alcori. Chancellor, I present you these candidates to whom the degree of Master of Science Integrated has been awarded. I admit each of you the degree of Master of Science Integrated of this university. Applied Psychology, Clinical. Lauren Elizabeth Alloway. <laughs> Rachel Alice Christie. Holly Melania Cluley. <laughs> Emily Conway. <laughs> Charlotte Field. <laughs> Kelsey Legg. Ria Patel. <laughs> Agatha Sarah Payne. <laughs> Amy Pamela Rudenberg. <laughs> Francis Maria Smith Lane.
Sharon Tilly. Caris <laughs> Lucy Winter. <laughs> Psychological theory and practice. Libby Adams. Montana Allen. <laughs> Victoria Brown. <laughs> Emily Dixon. <laughs> Emily Harris. Rosalind Olivia Lineham. <laughs> Callum Alexander James MacDonald. <laughs> Amy Rose Meadmore. <laughs> Ashley Rees. Rachel Elizabeth Sim. <laughs> Vice Chancellor, I present you this candidate to whom a postgraduate diploma has been awarded. I award you the postgraduate diploma of this university. Brief evidence based psychological treatments for the education setting. Samantha Cowley. Chancellor, I present you these candidates to whom the postgraduate diploma has been awarded. I award you the postgraduate diploma of this university. Brief evidence-based psychological treatments for the education setting. Aneta Valkowska. <laughs> evidence-based psychological treatment for children and young people. Rona Marie Edwards. <laughs> Camilla Rachel Fletcher. <laughs> Catherine Geist. Leanne Louise Grosset. <laughs> Amy Louise Hawksworth. <laughs> Margaret.
Margaret Madden. Amy Millwall. <laughs> Rachel Redman. <laughs> Andrea Smith. Rebecca Patricia Clare Webster. <laughs> Hannah Elizabeth Wilson. <laughs> Evidence based psychological treatments. Sarah Louise Booth. Miriam Fakery. <laughs> Anne Pamela Wilson. <laughs> Sean Diane Hawkins. Terence Fazal Khan. <laughs> Rebecca Ladden. <laughs> Sean Rosina Melville. <laughs> and Holly Stokes. Vice-Chancellor, I present you these candidates to whom a postgraduate certificate has been awarded. I award each of you the postgraduate certificate of this university. Brief evidence-based interventions for children and young people with common mental health problems. Lucy Cherrett. <laughs> Sarah Grammer. Monawara Khatoum. <laughs> Jessica May Parks. <laughs> Catherine Sarah Parsonson. <laughs> Annabelle Ward. Anna Watt. <laughs> Evidence-based psychological treatments. Amy Louise Benningfield. <laughs> Robinda Johal. Anissa Khan. <laughs> Holly Laverick. <laughs> Anisha Wazia Nazia.
Vice-Chancellor, I present you this candidate to whom a postgraduate certificate has been awarded. I award you the postgraduate certificate of this university. Evidence-based psychological treatments. Priya Thetty. Vice-Chancellor, I present you this candidate to whom the graduate diploma has been awarded. I award you the postgraduate diploma of this university. Brief evidence-based psychological treatments for the education setting. Juanita Kathleen Tarn. Chancellor, I present you these candidates to whom the degree of Bachelor of Arts has been awarded. I admit each of you to the degree of Bachelor of Arts of this university. Business and Management. Hannah Barnardo. <laughs> Psychology and Philosophy, Ibern Ajetan Mobi. <laughs> Leonie Farenholt. <laughs> Rebecca Morris. Madeline Taylor. <laughs> Florentina Jan Norides. <laughs> Vice Chancellor, I present you these candidates to a degree of Bachelor of Science has been awarded. I admit each of you to the degree of Bachelor of Science of this university. Psychology with Neuroscience. Alma Elizabeth Abraham. <laughs> Carice Bint. Charlotte Lily Godding. <laughs> Rebecca Eve Hutton. <laughs> Jessica Jarvis. <laughs> Abisha Jagatiz Warren. Jennifer Michelle Kohler. <laughs> Rufaro Makea. <laughs> Yolanda Leah Roberts. Holly May Sidaway. <laughs> Sean Sidhu. <laughs> Hannah Patricia Treadwell. Psychology with Professional Placement. Amanda Almeida. <laughs> the 
Dayasha Andrea Abaysakara. Katie Ash. Zilla Anastasia Artfield. Sarah Awuni. Shakira Nicole Bernard. Freya Berry. Palin Sue Bosdemir. Jihan Bratash. Ewan Carmichael. Harnet Kaur Chatra. <laughs> Penelope Clark. <laughs> Alessandra Damino. Charlotte Rose Daniels. Simran Dillon. Amy Duffus. Chinwendu Ijogu. Francesca Engelzu. <laughs> Tia Evans. <laughs> and Joseph Forrest. Chancellor, I present to you these candidates to whom the degree of Bachelor of Science has been awarded. I admit each of you to the degree of Bachelor of Science of this university. Psychology with professional placement. Ryan Luke Forster. <laughs> Anna Giselle Jenner. Mia Ameka Graham Millard. <laughs> 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 
Teresa Catherine Grant. Roshni Gurung. Laura Hearn. Alice Diane Hurst. Ashling Hoey. Eleanor Holmes. Carrie Mathor. <laughs> Shelley May. <laughs> Kiara McCready. <laughs> Sarah Marie McIver. Jay Orpwood. <laughs> Jainali Patel. <laughs> Sean Perryman. <laughs> Christiana Talidi Adela Patrice. Rishar Brajput. <laughs> Nihal Noor or Rama. <laughs> Isabel Sanders. Sheena Shah. <laughs> Imogen Shaw. <laughs> Rebecca Shaw. <laughs> Yukino Shimizu. Smith. <laughs> Shannon Marie Smith Whelan. <laughs> Simran Prashant Sutaria. Safia Nazia Tariq. <laughs> Faye Jo Tucker. <laughs> Kirsty Unwin. Holly Ann Upshaw. <laughs> Hannah 
Harriet Grace Ward. Rachel Waits. And Georgia Wright. Vice Chancellor, it has been agreed that the remaining graduates were remitted in absence. Now I recognise each of these graduates uh, for the award, for the relevant award of this university. Well, I know it is for some of you quite some time ago that you finished your degree. And you finished your degree in awkward circumstances. In the middle of term, we had to close shop, teaching went online, and exams went online too. The fact that you're here and that you're qualified shows something of your determination, your resilience, and your adaptability. And I think some special congratulations are due because you qualified under some of the toughest circumstances imaginable. You couldn't have been prepared, and neither were we, but what was to come. I know also that some of you may have suffered personal tragedies of losing friends and loved ones, but Having received your award and going forward in life, you are a credit to your families, your friends, your university, and all above to yourselves. And I think that deserves an extra round of applause. <laughs> found out the world is not a perfect place but that is what education is all about it just it doesn't just give you knowledge and understanding but it gives you the skills and the aptitudes to adapt to unforeseen circumstances as we have found in the last few years but this new world also creates new opportunities who could have thought a couple of years ago that online working when distance is no longer an obstacle has now become for many of us the norm it creates new opportunities when geography is no longer an obstacle. And when you go in this world, remember that you join the large community of Reading alumni. We're here to help you, to, to uh, mentor and to support you on your path in the world. So don't forget that the University of Reading really never leaves you. Now I want to give you four broad reflections, four things I want you to take away from your time here at the University of Reading. One, a love of learning. If you keep learning, and you learn something new every day, you can only get better, you can only get smarter, and your ability to adapt to challenges unforeseen will only increase. Never lose that love of learning. Two, I want you to keep that desire of inquiry and discovery. Sometimes people say, well, we've discovered everything, and all the big uh, inventions have already taken place, but just think back what we've done working together during the pandemic, where vaccines were developed at speeds never seen before, where medicines are developed, and many other solutions were found for problems that we couldn't imagine existed even a few years ago. So don't lose that desire for inquiry and discovery, and be part of it if you can. The third thing I want you to take away is an appreciation of diversity. When you work with people who don't look like you and don't think like you, the solutions you're going to find, find are more robust, more applicable to different circumstances, and generally better. Better than if you are just working with people who think like you. Diversity is strength. Never forget that. And four, I want you to take away from your time at the university a care for the planet. Climate change is real, and the biodiversity crisis is real, and we need our young people to take their to, to play their part in dealing with the crisis we're going to face in the coming century. Now, on the backs you were given today, on the outside, there are some stripes, some climate stripes, that give an indication of how temperatures have changed in the last 200 years or so. Now, 
are wearing my climate stripes with pride because it gives an opportunity to have conversations with many people. And you, as our youth, you will have to have those conversations, not just about the dangers, but also how we can make all of us the small changes to minimize the impact of climate change and how we can learn to adapt to its consequences. Now, this sounds all a bit gloomy, isn't it? But that's not for today. Today is a day of celebrations with foghorns or without. It, 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 I hope, you know, you have a great evening and a great day today. Uh, the sun is shining. Make it a good one. And let the good work start tomorrow. Thank you. as I declare this degree confirmation closed. Thank you.